more importantly, you should demonstrate why should people hire you. Because people don't hire you for like platitudes and for emotional stories and stuff like that. People hire you because your content, like, oh, this is what I'm looking for. Let me check Jennifer. Let me send her connection request. Let me talk to her. So like, this is what drives people's decisions. Because like, I see... I see it time and time again when engineers uh, post like day in, day in, day out that they got laid off and how everything is bad. Well, like at this point, I don't care because this is the reality for the industry, you and everybody else. So why should I hire you? Well, if you are curious what it is like to work with me as a coach, this episode is perfect for you. In this episode, you are going to see behind the scenes what's going on in my coaching sessions. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments what resonated with you. And if you are interested in coaching with me, grab the link in my bio or send me a DM message and let's keep conversation going. Um I, I would really uh, spare that like month, like uh, into like several months. So because so you have something to work on and you allow some time to for questions accumulate and you can refer to previous uh, sessions, what we did together yeah. and like, because uh, like, you know, right now, you know, the foundation, you know how to work LinkedIn. So make connections like three, three to five connections really per day but you can do it per week and you know uh, and before you post something and normally what i do like i would schedule my posts a little bit later in the morning like let's say eight o'clock and before that i will go and i will engage with my audience uh in the comments likes um in, in the reactions but i i will really go ham in the comments and I would start conversations with my community because I was on the conference uh, with LinkedIn creators last week, last Friday, and they emphasized that yes, content is super important, but LinkedIn is not a YouTube and LinkedIn is not an Instagram or Facebook. This is not the place where you go and dump your content. This is the place where you go and engage in conversations and start networking and expanding your network. And then they will push your content to the people that you engage with. So this is how it works. So if you like, if you know, like, oh, like, I really want that, that person to see my content uh, and you don't want to tag that person before you post that make sure that you engage with that person and say, you know, like in the comments or in the DMs, like whatever way you prefer. Uh, and then that person, most likely that person will see that, like will will see that post. And also people who just connected with you, they will be the first to see your content too. So like that, that that's really important to connect with very aligned individuals in your um uh in your niche who are like uh well I with you your uh peers like um software engineers QA engineers like hiring managers they may they may be a little bit more distant and less engaged because there is a fear of like oh like I'm a manager I'm a like I'm a power figure I should not I should yeah. not say anything on social media which is wrong I'm engaging with a uh, with a number of uh, directors and uh, uh, CTOs um, at at Amazon, really, and they like really taking it to the next level. They create content all the time. They engage in the comments. They and they even object when they don't agree in a very polite and authentic way. So not like, like oh, like you don't know what you're talking about. And like, well, like performance does matter, Eugene. But I do agree with you that you should network and be more visible. Like stuff like that, you know. Like, because I used to have my like personal, like personal website as an iOS developer with my experience. I used to have a little blog section where I would 
literally post uh videos that i uploaded to youtube so like everything in one place then i stopped doing that and i stopped doing that because nobody was watching and nobody was looking at it like everybody would just come to my youtube and bother to have a website so uh now like i I'm not in a hurry to kill my um uh, business website because like I can repurpose it for my business purposes and I need to do a little bit more work there. But um really um it's good, it shows you creativity, like I I it's cool, but I would um I would still leverage your networking and uh, strategic content creation strategic posting why like i know you you love working with startups i i know you love working with small teams how you can deliver value you know like what you can do for them why they should hire you why it is so important to have a qa engineer or like support engineer on their team and what they can do for them. And uh, you can even educate them because this is your job, educate startups too. Say so like, okay, you may not like, you may not be ready for QA or you may not like where QA. Let's name it. So I'm like, I would not like, don't double your work. One platform, right. one niche, one problem. So that's really how we, that's really how we scale in business. And this is how we scale in like in our corporate career too. So you have one like problem to solve. You in, like, you help uh, businesses to increase quality and really gain control over what they deliver to the customers. Unaware, they don't know what they deliver. They don't know what they push out, like not fully. They don't know what they broke um yeah. and uh, like one platform linkedin so like i know social media is hard for you so why overwhelm yourself even more like start working slowly on linkedin and like start posting three to five times a week stay str like, strategically about your uh, craft strategically about what you like are working on like it's okay to post here and there like how difficult it is like to figure out stuff in this economy in this job market but more importantly you should demonstrate why should people hire you because people don't hire you for like platitudes and for um like um emotional stories and stuff like that people hire you because your content like, oh, this is what I'm looking for. Let me check Jennifer. Let me send her connection request. Let me talk to her. So like, this is what drives people's decisions. Cause like, I see, I see time and time again, when engineers uh, post like day in, day in, day out that they got laid off and how everything is bad. Well, like at this point, I don't care because this is the reality for the industry, you and everybody else. So why should I hire you? Why should I hire you out of like hundreds, if not thousands of engineers who are yeah. in the same position? Why? So, yeah. and this is why I always like when I, well, like, even when we chat uh, in the DMs, I tell people like, stop, stop whining on LinkedIn and start providing, like stop providing reasons why they should hire you. This is what will, this is what make, this is what will make the difference.